Hi everyone, it's Karen the Neat Doctor here. Today I have some more donations to take to the donation station, but I want to present a little challenge to you. Next time you are donating and you think you have your donation bags ready to go, I want you to go to each room and see if you can find five more things from each room to get rid of. I am off to do that right now. I will report back with my findings. Thanks a bunch. Have fun. Hi everyone, how did you do in your five things challenge? I'll go ahead and present to you what I did in mine. Again, I went to each room and picked out five additional things to donate. And you'll really start to see change in your life when you go to donate stuff and you have a donation pile in your house all the time, take it one step further and go to each room and find five different things. I'm gonna show you what I found and this is exhilarating because I found a whole pile of stuff that I wasn't gonna donate that I now have ready to either trash or donate. Um, first, the bathrooms. I'm pretty good about the bathrooms. We have two bathrooms in our home and I didn't find too much stuff. So I counted the bathrooms as one room, but I did find some things I could get rid of. I have some Halloween face makeup. By the time next Halloween rolls around, it's not going to be good anymore. Makeup usually only lasts six months or so um, to be fresh and to be free of bacteria. We did use part of this, and these are so affordable. This is like face paints for Halloween. By the time next Halloween rolls around, if we have a costume that requires makeup, we can get some more. So again, this will not even be good. It's probably harboring bacteria already, so in the trash it goes. Um, I have an old bronzer in my in my makeup bag that I could get rid of. So in the trash this goes. Again, I've had it for I know longer than six months. Um, a toothbrush accessory in the trash it goes because I'm I'm not quite I'm not really using it anymore. Um, finally, and that was let's see one two three oh four five. These are my bathroom things. This nail polish it was a part of a sampler pack. I like some of them in the sampler pack. This is a very, very, very dark purple. does not complement my skin well. And when I put it on my toes, it kind of looked like I had some disease or something. So I'm trashing this nail polish. Finally, I have a prescription. I did not use this prescription cream. I ended up not needing it. Prescriptions, you can donate, not donate, but you can um, find out where your local prescription drop-off is. If you're in the Thousand Oaks or Conejo Valley area, the Sheriff's Station off of Madera Road has one, or, or Olson Road um, has one there, and you can drop it off in their drop-off bin, any prescriptions there. Be sure to re maybe remove your name and shred the name tag on it. So I'm going to put that aside to um, put in the prescription drop-off area. Now, my bedroom, I have a pair of pajamas that do not fit. They don't fit well. They fit okay, but I never wear them because they're kind of tight. So in the donation pile that goes, I'm counting it as two items. I have pants and a matching shirt. I wore these shirts for kind of workout things, but they're kind of looking a little ragged now. So I have two, two more shirts to add to that pile. So that's four items. And finally, I'm not going to show you this pile. I had in my closet, a little embarrassing to admit, a whole pile of underwear. Now it was perfectly fine underwear, and I know what you're thinking. It's like, why hold on? My daughter's laughing in the background. Why hold on to underwear? This is the size below what I am now. Now when I get down to that size, which I'm sure I will again, I can shop for new underwear. I have had these, I think, and they're perfectly fine. They're in good condition. I have had these for maybe three or four years in my closet, thinking, oh, I'll get down to that one day. And this is what makes it so hard to get rid of things, the things that go through your mind. I spend a lot of money. I have a whole bag here of underwear, and it's good quality name brand. Um, She's still cracking up. It's good quality name brands. I spend a lot of good money. They are in wonderful condition. But the thing is, if it's been three or four years, time to get rid of it. And again, if and when I do get down to that size, I can celebrate and get some new pairs. So underwear, you can donate. They do look for that at donation places. So I'm going to put that in my donation pile. So that's, we've hit the bathrooms and the bedrooms. That is 10 additional items to get rid of. Um, my kids' room. My daughter here, do you want to peek in, Amanda? She found five um, items of clothing that either don't fit her or that she doesn't really wear. So here you go, sweetie. Put that in the pile. Thank you. That comes from her room. Um,
The office. Let's move on to the office. We have a file box. I used this file box for a couple years. It was wonderful. I don't use it anymore. I kept thinking, I'm going to use it one day. That's that, that, that kind of clutter. I'm going to use it one day. I'll find a purpose for it. One day never came. And even if it does, again, not really a, a high-priced item. I have another filing system that I use right now. It's great, but in the donation box it goes. Um, another thing from the office. Amanda found this at her desk. This is a old glue stick that was dried up. So here, sweetie, put that in the trash. A little bunny that she's going to donate. Put that in the donation pile. Here's an item I bought from one of those Facebook swap and sell sites. Um, a friend of mine was selling this. It is a wonderful recipe box. It's beautiful. I had big plans for this. I did use it for a little bit, but um, I'm not using it anymore. I use a recipe binder instead. So in the donation pile, this goes. Um, and in the office, we found a workbook that she is not using right now and probably won't use. She's a little bit beyond the level here. So we're gonna list this on half.com. Now half.com is a great way to sell books. This is not even used, not even written in. Um, you put your ISBN number, it's an eBay company, and you can make some extra money on your books. So I'm gonna list this on half.com. I have a little rule though, if it's, <laughs> if it's been on there for say six months or longer and I still have it in my box of half.com books, I say, you know what, these aren't gonna sell. I decide to take them off the, um, silly girl, I decide to take them off the listing and go ahead and donate books to our local library. They have a, a donation bin. If you're local, the Newbury Park Library has a donation bin that you can drive up to and um, and put your books in. Can you go put that in the area? Thank you. In our living room, I found one, two, three, four, five, five books that I can also put on half.com. Let's put that in the donation area. And finally, in our, I have some things from our dining area, another room, dining area slash living area. I have these, um, Oh, what do you call these? They go under plates. I know I'm missing the word for it right now, but they go under plates for the holidays. We don't host that many chargers. These are chargers. Nice chargers. They, I think I got them, I don't know what store. They weren't too expensive, but we just never use them. Um, again, not too expensive of an item that we can replace. That goes in the donation station. There you go. Um, also in kind of our dining area, we have a game area found a game we're not really using anymore. My kids are outgrowing this, so getting rid of this game. Put it over there, sweetie. Now she also found some toys we're not using. Um, she found, now this is kind of a hard one for me. Amanda found, this is the little fashion plates that you can, you can design fashions on and stuff, and she decided, you know what? I don't use this. Now, I use mine all the time as a kid. So there was some emotional connection there. I loved using mine. Um, I think I bought this for her thinking that she would love it too, but she didn't. Now, is that hard for me to get rid of? A little bit. But, um, okay, put that in the donation pile. But um, but she was ready to get rid of it. So moms and dads, if your kids get want to get rid of things that they're just not into, but maybe you were as a kid, Kind of coach yourself through that. You can let it go. Um, you want to really cherish what's important to your kids and what they like and love. So, um, and another little little tool that she just wasn't using. For, she's a great artist, but she does more free flowing art um, with with her work. So, put those in the donation pile, please. Oops, we have a little avalanche going on over there. Um, fake flowers I found in my dining area. I had these in a jar, but they don't match our decor. So I'm um, going to donate those. And then in the kitchen, I found five things. These I'm just going to trash. They're like little skewers that I don't use anymore, but they're disposable skewers. I found those in a drawer. We're going to trash those. <laughs> Here's a good example. My daughter is now asking if she can have these flowers that I decided to get rid of. So when your kids ask things like that, maybe they see something that you're getting rid of um, that they want, I have a deal for you. You find me one more toy or stuffed animal that you want to donate, and you can have these flowers. Go find it right now and bring it back to me while I'm filming. 
So again, that's a good way to, I will, I can give her these flowers. I don't mind if she has them with her plaything, but she's got to also get rid of something that helps keep the clutter down in your home. So we'll see what she comes back with. Um, again, we were on kitchen. I found a silicone penguin thing that I just never use. Get rid of that. Um, I found a thermometer, a meat thermometer. We've had this for a number of years. It needs new batteries. Uh, we don't eat that much meat anymore. We eat a mostly vegetarian. Not that we never eat it. Um, I do occasionally, but I just I never need a thermometer for it. We're not grilling that much. So, um, get another one. <laughs> she found one, but it's not one. Um, it's a flashlight. We need to use that flashlight. Go find another one. Okay. Um, we need a flashlight at night, especially if like lights go out or things like that. So anyway, this um, thermometer thing again, we haven't touched it, and I think probably five years. So if I ever find I need it, I'm not, again, I'm, as I think through, I'm like, when would I ever use this? I don't grill meat. I haven't used it in the last five years. Um, I've seen some recipes where you use thermometers, but I think it's a special like candy thermometer if I ever make candy or something. Again, I haven't used it. So out it goes. Two more items. You have two of the same? Okay, put it in the pile. So she found a book that she has two of the same, so we're going to put that in the pile. Two more things from the kitchen and then I'm done. Um, oh, put it over there, sweetie. Ow, ow. Oh, we have an avalanche going. You okay? Yeah. Okay, we got it. So two more things. I have this little doodad here. Okay, put it away. Um, I have this little doodad here. I think we decided it was for avocados, to scrape out avocados. I use a spoon and a knife. I just don't use this thing. Um, I don't think I ever use this thing. I think it works good on kiwis, too. But again, it's it's just kind of taking up room in my, um, it's nice, but it's taking up room. It's taking up room in the drawer. So, and finally this. I actually used this um, less than a month ago around the holidays. Um, I think I got it on a good deal. Again, oh, but I got such a good deal on that. That's where a clutter trap for a lot of us, too. Um, a holiday cute little mug thing, and it lights up. It is very adorable. But the thing with holiday items, you can only use them once a year. You have to ask yourself, do I really want... I'll get you tape after this. <laughs> do you have to ask yourself, do I really want this taking up room... Okay, sweetie. Do I really want this taking up room in my cupboard for something I'm only going to use once a year? Sure, it's cute, but I have other things that will be more versatile that I can use all year long. So in the donation pile, that goes. So I hope you like this challenge. Again, next time you go to donate, do my five things challenge. Go through your house and find five more things in each room that you can donate or trash or find a new home for. Thanks so much. This is the Neat Doctor signing off. Have a great day. Bye.